In this video, we'll show you how to separate neurons from ganglion into individual neurons and culture them in a culture medium. Then, we will show you how to record ele electrical activities from these individual neurons. And also, we'll observe the reconstruction of connections between neurons since it's been already shown that synaptic connections can be uh, remade uh, between neurons inside the culture. Then, that would be a good experience to show all this like uh, growth cones that uh, grow toward the, uh, another neuron and also they make uh, new connections uh, with, with each other. Then also we can record uh, from one uh, neuron and stimulate the other neuron to see how they uh, are these like connections uh, active or not. black stocking. When we pin out the leech ganglion, we can either use the Sogar dish with the pins, or we can use these magnetic trays with the, uh, with the, with the sliding uh, pins that were originally designed for leech, but the Drosophila folks have stolen and not given credit to the leech community. Some of the experts in the leech field have written this book, Neurobiology of the Leech. We, we saw some of the photos in there earlier of the, uh, the different cells and their associated uh, electrophysiology traces. This is the text that they use for the Neurobiology of Leech course at Cold Spring Harbor and it would be a great reference uh, to use in our course. Originally the course was at Cold Spring Harbor and then it went to Woods Hole and now it's coming to Lexington, Kentucky. I will talk about uh, putting together the culture medium and taking out individual cells to culture and record from uh, record inside the dish. So we prepare uh, our L15 uh, culture medium uh, as according to the protocol with things like glutamine uh, glucose and uh, fetal calf serum. And so we have that mixture made up and we uh, add it to the ganglion inside these normal dishes. Then we desheat the ganglion, so take off the, the connective tissue that's around the gang ganglion to where we can get access to uh, the cell bodies. Then we add 100 microliters of collagenase dispase to the medium, put it on a shaker and let it shake for about 15 minutes or so. And while it's shaking is a good time to prepare electrodes that we'll use to, to suck, out the, uh, suck out the individual cells. So we pull off a normal micro, uh, uh, micropipette capillary glass electrode and break it back to a, a little bit larger than what we would need, uh, 50, mi 50 microns or so to pull out some of the cells. And then we fire polish it to make it smooth so it doesn't damage them. And we wanna pull out um, several of these and store inside of the uh, ethanol, uh, 70 80 percent ethanol with this cotton uh, in the bottom like this. And this keeps the tip from breaking and it keeps the tips nice and sterile. Uh, it's best to have these pipettes that don't have a filament so the cells don't get stuck in there. And then this apparatus is what we use to actually aspirate the cells. So the pipette is sort of taped onto this smaller tube and then it's fixed onto uh, this, this plastic syringe and onto a larger tube and suck the cells right out of the uh, ganglion. Then once we suck them out of the ganglion, we will have um, our L15 uh, mixture on these culturing trays, dishes, and either with gentamicin or antibacterial or without, depending on how long we want to culture them. We just place them into these nice dishes and these fit on our, uh, um, in, uh, on our microscope and then we can come in with our um, microelectrodes and uh, make, make recordings and stimulations and that sort of thing. So to get to the culturing, to be able to pull the cell, individual cells out, we have to take away the, the um, sheet, the connective tissue uh, layer that surrounds the ganglion. We use the fine iridectomy scissors to do that. Um, so as we're looking under the microscope, we'll take the, we'll, before we look into the microscope, we'll put the 
scissors up to the ganglion that we're going to dissect and then come into the microscope and, and find the scissors so we don't run them into pins. And then once we're in here, we want to be sure to remove the sheath away from the region of interest. So right now we can see the big Ritzia cells and those sort of cells in the medial part. So I'm going to come in and make my first little nick where the connective comes into the ganglion. You can kind of see that the tissue sags off a little bit right there and it's a good place to begin your cut. Okay, so here's where you can see at higher magnification where the connective is coming up into the ganglion. And so we'd make a, a small little nick right here. And then just as we did with the black stocking, just take the bottom half of the scissors and sort of glide them on around the ganglion, or around the, the sheath and just and, and pull up this tissue. Okay, so just cut it right across through there. So we've desheathed our ganglion. Now it's uh, incubating and collagenase and dispase uh, to uh, sort of remove the connective tissue between the axons and let the axons come out a lot easier, let the cell bodies come out a lot easier. Um, so we'll start, we're, we'll aspirate those cells and then we'll place them into our um, microwell dish. And the idea here is um, we can we can culture that in just in basic leach salines. That's one of the nice things about this uh, culturing system is that cells will live in just basically leach saline for 45 days um, in, in, in ideal uh, conditions. Um, an alternative is to put uh, the L15 uh, culturing medium in here, um, and that's another way to keep to make the to be nutrition for the cells. Um, also, we could have something like polylysine or Con A in the bottom of the dish to make the neurons uh, to make the cells stick better. We'd want to do that uh, uh, before we would do. We'd want to plate the cells in that before we would uh, have the fetal calf serum in there. Um, that way, the, the calf serum proteins don't stick to the bottom and inhibit the uh, adhesion of our cells. Anyway, we'll just use the leaf saline and we'll put the, we'll put the leaf saline into the dish. Okay, and we gotta shake it around because it'll develop these bubbles down in the wells and we, wanna, we don't want, the, we want it to be just the saline. Okay, if you look on the, if you look on this well, you, you see on the sides we've got the A through F and then we've got one through 10. Uh, these are really nice to sort of help us remember where we put our cells. We don't wanna forget which cells we put in which dish. All right, now they're all full, sort of shake it around, and we'll be able to uh, add our cells in here. Okay, so now we've got this thing desheathed. You can see those cell bodies just blowing around there whenever, as I'm inhaling and exhaling to talk into my aspirator. So we wanna get, get our pipette right up to the cells. Suck them out, move them to our dish. So I've sucked up the cells into the needle and I'm looking into the microscope and you have to watch as you blow them into the into the dish, make sure they go down into the well and not just somewhere into into the um, uh, somewhere else in the dish. So watch watch. I've got it over F10. Go down in here, stick it in, and I see it blowing down into the bottom of the dish. Just like that. So if you're if you're very careful you can suck these cells up and blow them down into the dish and maybe orient the, and orient them uh, just by easily very gently um, sucking in and blowing out. So you can actually lie one down like this, bring the other one in and sort of twist around and blow it and get it to where the um, processes um, sit together. And then over a few hours they'll form synapses and then we're able to um, test the uh, synaptic transmission across two cells in culture. So this little dot in the middle is the one of the cells that we pulled out of the ganglion. Looking at it with the um, upright microscope, light coming from the bottom with a green filter. We can go to 40x and then we can clearly see that axon process coming out to the left and cell body to the right. So awesome. Okay, so this is the, the upright microscope. 
Like I said, the uh, uh, objective lenses are down on the bottom. So the light's coming down and through, and then we're, we're seeing it to the bottom and through the side piece. Um, so you can imagine if we, we could use these, uh, this makes it easier to come in with our uh, intracellular recording electrodes, sort of bring these down and, and get down into the dish. We could also, um, if we were able to get two cells in and cultured together to where they form the synaptic connections, it would be just as easy to have a second electrode come in and uh, sort of activate or stimulate one cell, record the synaptic potentials in the other. Um, it's been shown that these things will, these cells will form both chemical and electrical synapses in the, in the same sort in the in the culture medium. So you can you can study either type of synapse. I know it's a challenging lab, but hopefully you were able to culture some identifying neurons and uh, investigate some uh, synaptic properties between uh, two newly connected uh, neurons.